Good evening, I'm Ian Hanamansing. Tonight, with Canada's highest rate of new COVID cases per capita, how is Alberta responding? I think people are eager to get back to life as usual. What ICU staff are bracing for. Also tonight, assessing that first vaccine dose. You are protected and you're protecting your community. But it's not the same for everyone. Sales are up in Canadian real estate, so are complaints about agents. There's not a whole lot of consumer protection for buyers. And the tragedy of Canada's long-term care homes. She is alive, she is breathing, but she has no quality of life. The personal costs of policy failures. This is The National. While infection rates flatten in parts of the country, Alberta remains a hot spot. And the burning question for many is whether the government and people are doing enough to slow the spread. The number of COVID patients in the ICU have shot up 75% in the past two weeks alone, already matching the worst Alberta has seen in the pandemic so far. And many worry the pressure will increase because daily new cases are by far the highest per capita in the country and still on the rise. New targeted restrictions were announced yesterday, and Aaron Collins shows us the province is betting a full lockdown won't be necessary. The sun was out right across Alberta today. Perfect patio weather, even with more than 21,000 active cases of COVID-19 in the province. I, I think people are eager to get back to life as usual. So pubs are open and busy here, but you won't see Calgary's mayor on one. I mean, it's a beautiful Calgary spring and it's sunny and gorgeous and there's nowhere better to be, but things are not good. You wouldn't know it just by looking, but the mayor says Calgary's COVID infection rate is twice as high as India's. New targeted restrictions have been brought in. COVID hotspots could face curfews, but no lockdown, not yet. The premier pleading with Albertans to obey the rules. Go back and study once again what the, what the restrictions are that are in place. Please follow them so we do not have to come in with yet another round of even tougher restrictions. There is pushback to even these limited new restrictions. Government MLAs who want Alberta opened up. We're the risk takers, we're the hard workers, we're the, we're the freedom people. And a lot of my constituents compare us to Texas. Texas opened up. Still, COVID cases and hospitalizations continue to surge in Alberta. Many frontline workers have long called for a true lockdown that is yet to emerge. If there are places of worship, if there are restaurant patios, if retail businesses, if those places are all open, people will continue to go to them because they, they feel that it's okay because the government is saying that it's okay to go to them. This expert may offer insight into why beefier restrictions haven't arrived. He says Alberta is about to turn the corner. We're now projecting that the cases are at its peak and are... Uh, bound to uh, come down in the in the in the in the near uh, uh, future. Aaron, is there a sense that people in Alberta are taking more precautions? Well, Jason Kenny certainly hopes so. He's asked Albertans to step up to the plate to try to bend this curve one more time. Now, he has tried this before about three weeks ago. It didn't work. Cases soared after that. So he's asking again, pleading really, trying to get people on board to follow the rules. And just in case they've forgotten what those rules are, the province has put them out on their emergency alert app. So people should know what they're supposed to do. Question is, will they do it? All right, Aaron, thank you.